we'll let that dry today and then we'll rake it up into rows tomorrow and we'll let it dry again then we're going to mulch it make little holes burn it fill the holes with a uh, compost and then we'll plant the seeds and we'll uh i guess we'll probably we'll try to do it all in this vlog we'll see but uh, it's not perfect to take care of the weeds but it does work with the cowpeas because the cowpeas grow so fast so big garden on the way we're gonna rake these out they're basically gonna turn into swales because it's on contour I'll need an ice bath tomorrow. Planting chicken and dumping cow peas here. Just gonna do a little hole and then put compost in it. This stuff can outcompete the weeds, these cow peas can. That's all I'm doing. Cowpeas are coming up pretty good, but there is still Bermuda grass coming up, especially around the holes that we dug for it. So we're gonna try to keep up with it for now. Um, and hopefully the cowpeas can get ahead. We'll see. I'm gonna have to replant some of this. But the swell look good. There's a lot more grass coming up in the trenches. So next time I'm probably just gonna do the little holes.
It is a beautiful Friday morning here at Roots and Refuge Farm. And I'm walking by this garden that we planted uh, just before I went to Greece that we knew there was gonna be a lot of Bermuda grass growing through there, and there is. Um, but the cowpeas, we ended, or we were able to get the cowpeas above the Bermuda grass and they germinated really well. They're doing really good. The sunflowers are obviously uh, doing good. The There's some Dutch Fork pumpkin right here. And these rows look beautiful. This, fr this row right here, I did a bunch of flowers in. Um, but the watermelons don't look too good. I am going to talk to Jess today and see if she wants to figure something else out right here. I think it would be a good blueberry patch, but... I'm not so sure how much she wants a permanent garden here. So we're gonna talk about what to do with these watermelons because uh, me not being here, I wasn't able to keep up with um, just keeping the Bermuda grass away from the melons. Some of them did germinate on this side, but over there it's it's barely, not many germinated at all. So I'm not sure how good the watermelon patch is gonna be, but as I said, there's still a lot of grass up in here, but we planted things that grow really fast and can handle a little bit more competition. As I said, the cow peas, the pumpkins, and the sunflowers. So, I mean, look at these cow peas. There's tons of Bermuda grass underneath it, but you can't even really see it. So, that's a good looking garden right there though, isn't it? Gosh. A lot of production coming out of that. I'm in the uh, contour garden, cutting the taller weeds with my folding scythe here. But this is the first time I've ever grown Mexican sunflower. That's a beautiful little flower. I thought it was gonna look just like a regular sunflower, but it, it doesn't. But uh, I think there's a bunch of permaculture uses for it. I need to look it up. I'll probably look, put it at the bottom of the screen, but I've heard permies going crazy over it, but let me get back to trying to tame it just a tiny bit. This might be my favorite garden on the farm, y'all. This is the power of heirlooms. It was a lot of work getting it set up, but after that, I've barely done any weed. And I went in there yesterday with one of those little folding scythes and kind of cut some, some of the taller weeds back. And I've been doing that about 30 minutes once a week. But other than that, we are getting a ton of these cow peas. Uh, obviously the sunflowers are doing really good. The okra is coming up. And uh, little Dutch Fort pumpkins. Mexican sunflowers are going crazy. It's supposed to be really good chop and drop. First time I've ever grown that. But I want to say one thing. The okra and the cowpeas just make an excellent combination. Look at them. This is okra right here. And these are the cowpeas growing under it, going over the trail. Beautiful stuff.
Hi. Hi. You can't portray this garden. Hell. You could spend hours in here picking food. It's everywhere. a lot of pumpkins. Solid work reward. No weeding. Some of them are a little soft on the top. We'll see how good they do. I'm not sure. And we got about this many in green pumpkins as well which we will feed out to the chickens periodically throughout the winter. And these will go into our bellies. Why are you biting me? Oh, calm down. You're a bully, you know that. 